Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, got another workout for you that I'm gonna post on Facebook, okay? Hopefully you can hear me really well with this one. So we got three exercises to warm up right quick. We're gonna do some jumping jacks, then we're gonna do some forward to back lunges, and then we're gonna do some mountain climbers. We're gonna do two rounds of this, okay, before we get started. You wanna do three rounds, stop it and go right into three rounds if you want to. We're gonna do two rounds for this, just in the interest of time, all right? Here we go, jumping jacks first for 10. Ready, and go. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're gonna do a front to back lunge. Five on one side. One, and then backwards. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, and last one. Five and five. We're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. One, one, two. Two, three, three, four, four, and five, and five. And now let's go on the ground and let's do mountain climbers. Let's make them high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna stand up. Let's do that thing again, all right? Take as much time as you need. Get a sip of water if you need. Let's do a second round of that. Get warmed up again. Instead of doing the front to back lunge, we're gonna do a little side lunge this time to warm the hips up. Five on one side, five on the other, all right? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Side lunge. Let's go right out to the side. One. Push yourself back to the middle. Two. Three. Four. Chest tall. Five. Let's go to the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good. Now let's go down for those mountain climbers again. Regular mountain climbers this time. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. If you need, feel like you need another warm up, go right ahead and get one more round of those in while I'm doing this. Just gonna set up my timer for this workout. For this workout, all you're really gonna need is two dumbbells, two kettlebells, it doesn't matter the weight, one kettlebell. Well, you kind of need two of them, sorry. Uh, two kettlebells or two dumbbells. And if you have a riser or hooks or something that you can step on, you'll need that, okay? And that's pretty much it for this workout. Just gonna set up my little clock here. By the way, I use a timing system called Gym Next. G-Y-M-N-E-X-T. It's usually in purple. Gym Next is a timing system I use. You can download it, it's free, and it can help you do some of these things and keep time for them. They have all kinds of Tabata timers, standard timers, and things like that. And this time, I'm using a regular standard timer. I don't know if you can see that, you can't see it very well, uh, for a minute and 30 seconds worth of work. All right, so here's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna do, we're gonna take a dumbbell. We're gonna squat press for this first exercise. Squat. Press, squat, press. We're gonna do that for 20 seconds, okay? At the end of the 20 seconds, we're gonna hold it in the bottom position for 10. And then we're gonna go back in. And 20 seconds worth of work, 10 second hold. And then we're gonna do it for a third time for a total of a minute and 30 seconds worth of work, okay? Three 20 second periods of work with three 10 second holds, all right? So a total of a minute and 30 seconds worth of work, but you're not gonna stop, or at least you're gonna try not to stop. If you have to take a little bit of a rest, you take a little bit of a rest, all right? All right, let me just set my timer and start it. Sometimes what'll happen is you might need to take a little rest through here, okay? Go right ahead, ready? Go, squat, press. That's it. Take it nice and slow. 
unless you're in really good shape. If you're in really good shape, you can go faster. You can go down deeper. You can use heavy weights. And we're gonna hold right here. 10 second hold. Low position, holding your weights on your shoulders if you need, doesn't matter. Three, two, let's go again. Let's go right into it, nice and easy. Come on, you got this. Five seconds and we're gonna hold. Three, two, one, and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time. You ought to feel a little burn in there now. That's okay. Nice and easy. We got this. Squat to press. She feel that in those legs? She feel them in those shoulders. We're almost there. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. And hold for the final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and good. Here we go. This next exercise we're gonna do is toe taps. It's a little different from what we did. This is gonna be one minute of work, nonstop, tapping the toes on the riser, on books. Anything that's like four inches or higher, as high as you want to make it, you're just going to do a little toe tap back and forth, all right? Let me set my clock this time. I'm going to set my clock now for one minute worth of work, okay? In between, take as much time as you need to recover, okay? So if you need to, stop this video, recover at any point. Recover and then get to the next one. Don't feel like you have to keep up with the pace that we're going at, okay? Here we go. 10 seconds and we're going. sort of foot quickness. This one works on legs primarily as we do a squat. And then on the second one, it's a squat with a little bit of a jump. So I don't even want you to really get off of your toes at all. I want you to just squat, squat and on the toe. Squat, squat on the toe. Squat. And we're going to do that like we did the first thing. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest. And lastly, Again, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, all right? Again, in the interest of time, I'm gonna speed it up a little bit, but you guys can go as fast as you want, okay? Or as slow as you want, slow it down if you need to. And go, squat, squat with a jump, squat, squat with a jump, squat. Squat with a jump. It's just rhythm, baby. This is how you develop that rhythm. Squat, squat with a jump. Squat, squat with a jump. Squat, squat with a jump. Mm. Pow. Mm. And hold right there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, 
two, one, and let's go again. Squat, squat with a jump, squat, squat with a jump, squat, squat with a jump, squat. All we're doing is some metabolic conditioning. You see what's about these exercises, they're not difficult to do. What's difficult is to do them for this length of time and hold. And then you're holding right here. So on a scale of one to 10, these exercises are sort of like a three or a four. You can do them. Two, one last time. Squat, squat to a jump, squat, squat to a jump. When you do stuff like this, this is what helps burn the fat. This is what you're trying to do. People get confused sometimes about high intensity. Most of the time their workouts aren't high intensity if they're doing them similar to this. And hold, because it's really tough to do high intensity stuff for this long. That's not really what they're doing. Two, one, and boom. Ugh. Here's where you're gonna need your weights for this one, okay? This one's gonna differ like number two. It's gonna differ in that exercise number two. We're gonna do three exercises this time, each one for 15 seconds. And we're gonna do it twice for, again, a total of a minute and 30 seconds. We're gonna do uh, a mountain climber. We're gonna use our weight. We're gonna get into a position and we're gonna do a mountain climber. Then we're gonna do a single arm row or a renegade row. And then we're gonna hold in a plank position for 15 seconds, okay? Each one of those exercises we're gonna do for 15 seconds, two times around for a minute and 30. Let me set my clock again, and we're getting ready to roll, baby. All right. We're going here in 15, I'm sorry, in seven seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Mountain climb. If you want to do high mountain climbers and get those knees up and outside the shoulders, go right ahead. Four, three, two, one, now let's spread those feet and renegade row. Five seconds. And we're gonna hold this thing right here. Hold, 15 seconds. Work on that core, try to keep that butt nice and low down. Don't let it go off in the air like that. Try to keep it nice and slow. Three, Two, one, let's renegade row again. I'm sorry, let's do our own climb again. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, renegade row. And hold, plank hold, last time. Keep that head down, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and boom. You got this. You see how you're breathing right now? That's cardio. That's all we're doing is cardio. That's low intensity training. That's better for you than what people call high intensity training. You do want to do high intensity training, but like once a week, twice a week for some people, most of the time you want to be doing lower intensity training because when you do that, you burn more fat and I can come back and do it again tomorrow because I'm not burned out. And consistency is really what helps you. It's about the consistency. All right. The next thing we're going to do is a sumo squat to a hold. We're gonna grab any apparatus, a milk cart, weight, whatever you got. We're gonna put those toes all the way out, pointing out to the edges. Their toes are in line with your knees. You're getting them out there. Like a sumo wrestler, getting ready to dress Out there, and now we're just gonna drop it. Okay, so all we're gonna do is pulse, and we're gonna hold it, just like we did with those first exercises. 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds hold, okay? Let me set my timer again. All right, baby, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Pulse, that's it. What does this one do? Works those lower 
legs, the lower half, but we're working the inside of the groin here. Working those inside thighs, ladies. So, pass it with pulsing. You'll feel it on the back side though. Three, two, one, and hold right there. Just let that weight hang. You're not doing anything with it. It's coming up with you. Three, two, one, and pulse. Nice and easy. That's it. You're burning that fat. Why? Because we can do this for a while. It's not that hard. Hard stuff means you can't do it for very long. And when you do hard stuff that you can't do for very long, like lifting heavy weights, it means you're going to burn sugar, not fat. And hold. 10 seconds. You got this. Come on. We got this. Two. One. Last round. One. Come on. Need to take a break? Take a break. Up at the top, shake those legs out if you have to. If not, let's go. Fight it out because you only got 10 seconds left for this. 10 seconds left for this pulse, 10 second holds, and we're done. Here we go. We got this. Five, four, three. Come on. And hold down at the bottom. 10 seconds. Keep that chest nice and tall. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Boom. There we go. Woo! You got it. Come on. Wipe off. Let me get my towel, get a little sweat off of my brow. I love it, love it, love it. It's one of my favorite workouts also for conditioning. If y'all know me, you know I really can't stand to go outside and run. I'll do it now. I do have, it, it does have a purpose. It's just not my favorite thing to do. It takes a, takes a little bit of mental preparation to get to do that kind of stuff. But I'll do this kind of cardio all day. All right. Squat to upright row this time. You can use one dumbbell or two dumbbells, all right? Doesn't matter. When you use two, you're gonna have them right in front of you. We're just gonna squat, and I'm really not worried about the squat part. This time, I'm really worried about this part, the row part, to work the shoulders. So it's a little squat, row. Squat, row. We're gonna squat row for 20 seconds. We're gonna hold it up here. Look at how my elbows are above the weight. I want my elbows above the weight. So I'm gonna hold it with my elbows above the weight for 10 seconds, and we're gonna go back in, all right? Minute 30 seconds, just like we did the other one. 10 seconds and we're going. You should still be breathing. You have a heart rate monitor? Fantastic. Squat, row, squat, row, squat, row, squat, row, squat, row. Come on. Working those shoulders. Elbows up and out, right underneath that chin. Three, two, one, and hold. Four, three, two, one, and let's go again. Hold, row, row, come on. That's the pace, you just gotta find your pace. You're not trying to compete with anybody else. Even when you're in a gym, don't compete with them. You go at your pace. What allows you to go hard? And boom, hold it up there, 10 seconds. What's your pace? That means you can keep going. That's the pace you go at. Forget what they do, and go. Last time, come on. And eventually what will happen is, because you're getting in better and better shape, you're losing fat, you're learning how to use fat for energy, you'll be able to go faster and faster. And you'll be, that would be your new slow pace, if I can call it that. Three, two, one, and hold. One, and boom. Let's go, baby. Good work. Come on. Good. Now, this is the toughest one. This is a plyo push-up here, okay? So we're gonna do plyometric push-ups. Remember when we did that squat to a squat jump, squat to a squat jump thing, how tough that was? We're gonna do the same thing now, but with push-ups. So technically, this is gonna be the toughest one. It's tough to do these plyo push-ups for anybody, all right? So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you two, some options here to do this thing. Let me just towel off right quick, and then I'll show you this. All right, so here's the options. 
you can. Here's technically how this thing should be done. I want to do a push up, push up with a jump, push up, push up with a jump. Or you can do this on your knees, all right? Push up, push up with a jump, push up, push up with a jump. Or I can just do push up, nice and slow. Now, some people will have to do all three. Some people will think that they can do the plyo push-ups for all three rounds, and there may be some people who can, and I should say there are people who can, but most of you won't be able to do that. So you might start off with that, and then go to on your knees, and then you may eventually go into, you know, push-ups, all right? So I will demonstrate all three as we go through, all right? Push this, set the clock up. All right, now when we do that push up with the jump, we're gonna hold down at the bottom or hold at the top. It's up to you. Two, one. All right, push up. Push up with the jump. 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 10 seconds. Push up with the jump. Push up. Push up with the jump. Push up. Push up with the jump. Push up. Push up with the jump and hold down at the bottom. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to the knees to show you if you do it on your knees. Push up, push up with the jump. Push up, come on. Three, two, one, you can hold at the top if you wish. Just get that butt underneath you. Don't let that butt be out here. Keep that butt underneath you. And let's go for the last one. Push-ups or regular push-up balloon bent knee. and hold. This is actually pretty tough right here. Five, four, three, two, one, and boom. You can feel that in that upper body, huh? Those arms. I love it, baby. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. We almost there, baby. We almost there. Three more of these, all right? Three more. We almost done. Alternate lunge jump this time. All right, so here's an alternate lunge jump. When I do a lunge jump, I'm gonna back up a little bit. Lunge jump, I wanna kinda make sure that my feet, my legs are in this sort of 90 degree bend. See this 90 degree bend here, 90 degree bend there. I'm gonna jump and split sides, all right? So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna do it for 30 seconds. I'm sorry, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, and hold for 10 seconds. So it's a total of 30 minutes. Then we're gonna do the same thing, and you're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna do two rounds of this, not three. Two rounds, 20 seconds worth of work, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds worth of work, 10 seconds rest, all right? Sorry about this, my clock. Oh, why I keep doing this? There we go. All right. 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, baby. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. If you have knee problems, you're going to stop. You're going to just drop that back knee. Just drop it down and do a pulse, all right? Five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Now in my case, my right knee is out front. Next time I'm gonna switch this thing up a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna put it on the other side. Two, one, and go.
three, two, one. Boom. You ought to really feel those. Good work. Come on. We're almost there. Two exercises left. This one's up down. Work the back of those arms again. We work those arms and chest with the push ups. Now we're going to work them again. And your legs ought to be pretty tired now. So that's why we're doing this one, all right? Towel off. I'll be right back. All right, let me demonstrate this one. Up, up, down, down, all right? Up, up, down, down from a plank position. You're on your elbows, all right? You're on your elbows. We're gonna go up, up, down, down. Simple as that. You can either hold for 10 seconds here or you can hold for 10 seconds here. It doesn't matter which one. They're both gonna pretty much stress out those triceps no matter which one you do, all right? Let's get this thing going. Let me press my clock. 10 second countdown. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and good. Up, up, down, down. Again, this is another one you kind of want to go slow. Four, three, two, one, and hold. Three, two, one, and go. Four, three, two, one, hold. Three, two, one, last round. Up, up, down, down. You're getting tired? Get to a knee, hold on. Come on, we're almost there. Four, three, two, one, hold in the plank. Two, one, and boom. <laughs> Last one. You made it. Last exercise we got. And you're done with me, all right? You did, you guys, if you got to this point, you've done a fantastic job, all right? Good work, good work. Last one we're gonna do is a little different than everything else we've done. We're gonna do two exercises from a plank position. If I'm in a plank, pretend I'm on my, here on a plank position, here, either on my elbows or upright, I'm gonna bring my knee up and outside. Two, three, four. Then I'm gonna come across my body. One, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna run. Now when I did that, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that should take me about 10 seconds. The rest of that half a minute is jogging time. So when my clock hits the bottom, the 30 second mark, I'm gonna go down to the ground and I'm gonna repeat this thing again. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, jog again till I get to the top of the next minute, all right? One minute and 30 seconds away from home. All right, let me set my clock. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. One, two, three, four, on the knee. Two, two, three, four, and now high knee. We just jogging in place. Five, four, three, two, 
One and down again. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. Jog in place. Come on, you got this. We almost there. Come on, last one. Last one in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Hand down. Last time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Come on, baby, we got this. Last one. You got it. Come on. It's almost done. After this, get some sweets. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and boom! That's a red core cool workout, baby. It ain't about high intensity training, it's about low intensity training. If you can do low intensity training four or five days a week with high intensity one or two days a week, I'll guarantee you, you are healthier and leaner. All right? I'm Paul Mitchell. This has been Red Core. Peace.